pockets filled with holes. Money's running low. Truck is moving slow. And I keep going old because I've been traveling down the road. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Yes, I've been traveling down this long, long road. With no place to go. Mm -hmm. Don't see no one in sight. Sundown turns to night. Tomorrow's another day. Wandering away. Cheated, but I just keep right on traveling. 
Hello, hello, and welcome. How's everyone doing tonight? How are things? We're back with another episode of Resident Evil. Well, okay, this one might require a little bit of a little bit of a uh, refresher, so to speak. So. Last week, last week I tried to do part one of Resident Evil 2, and it didn't really work out. The audio was bad, everything was, my like I think I was muted for a considerable amount of time, which as always, if there's any audio problems, please, by all means, let me know. I can fix them on the fly, hopefully, and we can we can get them working well. But so I decided that we're going to redo part one. I'm not happy with it. It wasn't that good. So we're going to redo it. You know, take two. But before we get into redoing it, I would like to tell you about my social media. I have the TikTok where I post videos, the Instagram where I post photos, and the Twitter where I post tweets. The You can also follow me on here, right here on Twitch. We're very close to our next follow goal, which will push me over the, uh, the threshold for affiliate. Then I just need to get that regular viewership up. But we'll get there. Not that concerned. Um... I also have a Discord. I've been trying to figure out Discord, so I have one of those as well. I think that we have gone long enough. What say we start getting into it? And as a reminder, this is something you'll have to worry about. I gotta figure out a better way to do that screen. But we're going to do Resident Evil Original and normal. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. When I was a kid, despite the fact that I had played later the first game, the terrible disaster had been caused I always by thought that that zombie virus. looked like he was over A mutagenic tracks. toxin created by the International from the first game that to turn Umbrella around. Incorporated but for, some for reason, use in bioweapon experiments. I always thought that it was on The Raccoon tracks. City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments Perfect. were far from over. Refresh that. <sighs> I'm finally here. So, what do y'all think of the new overlay? I made it myself. Well, most of it. The uh, the condition bar I did not make. I found that online. That looked Guys, tedious to make. Why'd he bite me? And once again, we are emulating on Dauphin with the uh, up Hello? res, like HD pack. Is anyone here? Hello? I feel like I wouldn't walk this far into this diner. Like, there's, st uh, there's shit spilled, there's Hello? like. You'd have to smell that. 
like the smell of blood and like death. I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? I don't think he's listening, Claire. This is one of. <clears throat> pardon me. I'm still a little, uh, like, allergy ridden. So. Wait! Don't shoot! I'm sorry for the coughing and throat noises as they are. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. I'm really upset that didn't make it into the, uh, remake. Emmy's Diner. There! That would be a cool thing to, uh, put in there. But zoom zoom. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Nope. Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. So my another dad, fun little tux came to find my for this. Prince. Depending on who you start as, the uh. I actually need to turn this hey, down a little bit in my headphones. Could you open the glove box? Sure. There There's we go. It was very loud. Better take it with you. Um. But yeah, depending on who you play as, that car will actually spin either front hitting or the back hitting, depending on who you play as. And that zombie is just Leon's model. It's Leon's okay? head model, just same thing, just Still recolored. I'll meet you there. Okay. They were parted by unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. So, once again, go into the menus and toggle the aim to auto. And don't dare, don't you even dare wasting a single bullet on any zombie out here. I actually find, so, I just did all of that with the analog stick. I actually find tank controls to be harder with an analog stick rather than a D-pad. Freeze! Like, they feel very... Who are you? Like... What tank controls here? feel good, almost. Don't shoot! I'm with a human. With a D-pad. Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. Ooh. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the, the entire, entire city, city was infested, infested with zombies. zombies. Which, by the way, I didn't show it off, well, but don't you, worry, girlie. you can click on Kendo and get a kind of condescending extra thing. Yeah, I'm sure you are, Kendo. Oh, no. Not Kendo. I thought he was going to be with us the entire game. But grab this ammo and, you know. This is really just kind of stand behind the counter and shoot them. You'll be able to kill pretty much all of them before they get to you. Like, not really any trouble.
Except for this jerk. But we've killed them. We can claim our little reward. He has stopped breathing. Which, from what I understand, is problematic for survival. Actually wasted a little bit more ammo than I wanted to there. Is there another pack here? Which, by the way, like, you would think there's more... You would think there would be more around, but... Alas, there's not. Actually, is there another pack in here? No. There's another pack in a trash can. Sometimes I can't remember which one it is, but... Oh no, the zombies broke out. Yeah, there is no moving and shooting. You just kind of got to stand and deliver. Claire, focus on the zombie in front of you. That should be enough for me to get by them. There we go. Which I actually think I'm not doing great on ammo. But this whole game is pretty much not doing great on ammo. Yeah, I'm not doing great on ammo. So we're just gonna... No? Okay. I love how, like, the job the, uh... The modders did with this. Like, it looks so good. I am a little miffed about the, like, dip every time you change uh, scenes, but that could very well just be, like, a problem with my configuration, and less so with the, with the game, like, because I've played this before and didn't have that, so I don't know exactly what's wrong, but once again, don't waste a, don't waste a bullet on these. Just slice away. So, I am having... I had a very long day today at work. Like, we, uh... Occasionally, too, you can get lucky and get more than one at a time. And you'll know they're dead because they'll have a pool of blood on the ground. But, I had a hell of a day at work today. Like, it seems like everybody wanted to argue. It's one of those days. This is about the only time in the game the knife's useful. Which should also... This should also be a pretty good indicator as to how worthless this knife is. Like, I can't get over the fact that it's like stabbing an enemy. Okay, run away. Nope. Let me pull back out my gun. So anyway, I started blast. <laughs> now, um... I... Just zoom on by. We're not even gonna bother with them. They can have their random trash snack. Of whatever that dude was. Watch out. Hit the wrong button. Time. It's time for the hardest screen in the game, in my opinion. Like, in the main game. There's two of them that are harder in bonus uh, scenarios, but... For the main game, this one is the most difficult. There we go. And we are in the RPD. Well, we are to the RPD. We aren't in there yet, but... We are effectively to the RPD. 
let me grab some some folius and I'm fairly certain we might not be able to get it because it's kind of finicky but somewhere around here there's a uh, you can actually get a scene that isn't in or very difficult to find but shows the gate from Resident Evil 3 that ties all this area together And I love that. I love that little, like, hey, look at where you'll be spending the next however many hours. See, the main hall of the RPD is very much the, like your main hub throughout the game. Like, pretty much everywhere you go to in the RPD spawns from that main hall. Which, I want to listen closely because last time I noticed... Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother, Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill Berry. Every last Star's team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What mm. happened? About two months ago, there was this... Incident, incident involving, involving these zombie-like zombie -like creatures. creatures in a mansion Which located in, in the outskirts, outskirts of, of this city. city. Chris and the other stars members, members. discovered I love that the hand Umbrella in this game just... was behind everything at the risk of their own lives. But no one <sighs> believed, believed them. them. <sighs> Are you okay? Don't I've played this a time me. or two. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take, take this, this key, key card. card. You should be, be able, able to unlock, unlock the doors the in the hall, hall with this. this. Now go. But. Just go. I once again am okay. in love with how smooth all Just the backgrounds look. I'll and like, to be soon. fair, I mean that both in terms of good and literally smooth. They all look very smooth. Which, by the way, because I'm playing this on emulator, I do have a fast forward button. I don't exactly know what that good that'll do me for this uh, for this playthrough, but it's fun to have. We got some more bullets. We got an ink ribbon and an old typewriter. And we're gonna save real quick. Claire A. So, one of the things about this game is a lot of people didn't play Claire's scenario originally. Like, there are people like me who, like, played this game to death, and to be fair... I still legitimately have my PS1 version of this game. The case has been long since destroyed and, you know, lost over the years. But I still legitimately have my copy of it. And it's playable, so, like, I have a PS3 sitting right there. I would pick up and show Leon's disc, but I'm pretty sure Leon's disc is in the PlayStation right now. But we have a memo. Our first memo of the game. Police Memorandum. 8-23-1998. For our uh, non-American audience, Americans put the month first and then the day. So it is August 23rd, 1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearmament or rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the eastern office of the first floor. 2236. Raccoon Police Liaison Department. But yeah, so that's a puzzle for a thing we'll get to later. And also fairly accurate to the remake. So, 
I mentioned it before, and I may in fact just be a crazy person about this, but I don't think it's too dark to see anything. We just saw something. What was you? What what was you? Um But like that's still in the remake. It was there a safe that was moved from it wasn't moved to the uh, west office, that was moved to the east office. No, I'm sorry. It was moved to the west office, not the east office. And then this this uh, camera angle we'll never see again. Because as soon as you move away, it's gone forever. And this is one of the best parts, because you can just hear something tapping in the background. And over here, we have a picture of Kobe Bryant. I believe it's Kobe Bryant. I don't know basketball all that well. But I've been told it's Kobe Bryant. The head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. Well, might as well pilfer this horse. But if you notice, when you walk over, the glass makes a different noise. Likewise, that also makes a different noise. But, something's coming. <gasps> oh no. So, when we were younger... Which, by the way, you can... Oh, that's not what I want to have happen. I need this. Another fun little thing about this. No oh, run, Claire. So yeah. I didn't do it too well, but it can be done. But we're gonna heal real fast, cuz it wasn't great, Bob. Oh, sorry, I should probably put bullets in my gun. Um, but yeah. That liquor, you can avoid it, but it's difficult because it pretty much starts you on broken glass. I didn't commit enough to getting away from it. Had I turned the other way and ran, it would have leaped and missed me. But... This hallway is super easy. Like, run to the end of it, avoid that zombie. And just wait for them to come to you. By the way, I feel like that female zombie model is the most accurate to the time period I can think of. Like, I legitimately remember people wearing pretty much that exact outfit. There we go. All of those zombies dealt with. And it did not cost me much ammo. And we got a good amount of health from it. We're sitting pretty right now. But we have enough, well, um, real quick. Before we read that note, I want to dump off a little bit of this ammo, or health rather. Apparently my thumbs didn't want to work just then, and also, we're back to fine. Of course, we're going to save real quick long as I can find my way around this desk. Look, while I while I know how to use tank controls, I'm not the best. Like, there are some people, they put me to shame on how good they are at this. Like, there are people out there who are insanely good at tank controls. 
Like, I'm fairly decent at best. Oh, we have another memo here. If Claire ever wants to pick it up. Operation Report 2. Operation Report, September 28th. Early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room. And another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewers. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we lock the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and lock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whomever may find it. Recorder, Elliot Edwards. So, that note tells us a couple things. Chiefly, it tells us that... It tells us that, um... The key for the Eastern Office... It said Eastern, I think. The key for the Eastern Office is somewhere on the East Side. That's helpful. That's helpful information for us. But let's continue on in the only way we can. Here's another puzzle I'm going to run right on by because we can't do anything with it yet. There's a key item we need to get the other part of that puzzle that we don't have yet. So I'm not going to bother with it. But we have this hallway with that door and this door. This one is locked with the etching of spade. So, we're going to need a key with a spade on it. And here's the star's office. I wasn't lying. Star's office. Maybe we can find... Maybe we can find some clues as to where Chris went. You know, Chris. That guy there. Which, by the way, that's supposed to be Jill. Look at that face. That ain't even kind of right. Wesker. Like, Barry kind of, I get it. Um, Kenneth kind of, sort of. Enrico, no. Enrico kind of looks like Steve John. But yeah, no, this photo is one of those ones where it's like, eh, it kind of, kind of fell victim to the up-res. Is this... The way that they did this up res was really interesting. It's an AI. But, like, look how smooth the Stars logo looks behind Claire. Like, that looks real good. Or, like, the lights, or, like, the overall fidelity of the image, and how, like, running pretty well. Like, it does look pretty good. But there's certain little fine details that this game has not done great for. You know? But this desk is trashed. It's trashed. Someone must have searched the desk. Which is really interesting, the reason why this is like this. So this is a uh, Easter egg. Where you're supposed to search this trashed desk 50 times. And find a thing. And we should be getting to it soon. I haven't been counting. But the idea is that it's you physically looking under things. It's supposed to emulate that. Which is fun. And there's also a pack of bullets back here. There isn't anything useful on that shelf, but like... We have Barry's weird colored fish up there. Barry's desk. Who's probably a member of the NRA. 
We have uh, various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest winner, Chris Redfield. Which, it's kind of cool to see, like, all... There's no flavor text associated with it, but if you look down there, that gold thing, that's the gold emblem from the uh, mansion. And there's the plant killer. But if you change the camera angle... Oh, it actually isn't visible in this one, huh? It used to be visible in this one, but we have... That jacket, which matches Claire's, and that's Chris's alternate costume from Resident Evil 1. We have Joe's beret. Which, if you... It's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. And we have Chris's desk. Oh, there it was. You could see it in that little, uh... Thing, if you look down towards the left. Chris's diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief today. Once again. But he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-Virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Impl Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've received a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I've finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new Z-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over, and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip, because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Chris. If you told Claire you were leaving, even if you didn't say, hey, I'm going to Europe to stop Umbrella, just told her, hey, I'm taking a vacation, you might not, it's in a remote, you know, place, you might not hear from me for a couple weeks. Claire wouldn't have ended up in Raccoon City. <laughs> like, granted, that has implications otherwise, and other things would have gone wrong. But... This desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the owner's personality. But we have Rebecca's desk with... Some something green there, because like I said, every Resident Evil character kind of has their colors. Like Barry, it's very uh, red and like browns. Uh, Chris is greens and white. Uh, Jill is dark blues. Um, Wesker's were like blacks and dark grays. Um, Leon is dark blue. Claire's red. But yeah, like, this photo right up here, that's Marty McFly, or, um, Michael J. Fox and, um, the guy who played Doc Brown from Back to the Future 3. Don't know why, but here's a grenade launcher. A grenade launcher that looks fucking huge in the, uh, menu screen. But, sure, nothing will happen when we leave. Whole town shut off, except for that one fax machine. Which, unfortunately, is the most realistic shit ever. Federal Police Department. Hey, just a heads up, this note gets real dark and deals with certain topics of... A variety of nature if you're sensitive to um, certain forms of assault and things like that. Maybe tune out for like 10 minutes. Go grab a drink of water. Turtle investigation report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your request, we've conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. Regarding the Z-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc. So far, it is unconfirmed that the Z-Virus even exists. 
We're continuing with our investigation. Number two, regarding Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. Mr. Irons allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Manson Lab case along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have indirect involvement. Mr. Irons had been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the SARSs, but was released due to circumstantial evidence, as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. Mail to Chris. So this Irons guy sounds like a bad dude. But we can... We got a unicorn medal. Now, I didn't examine it because I forgot. But we know where that... I know where that unicorn medal goes. That's it. We're on our way back to the item box. So I'm going to... I'm going to do this puzzle real quick because we can put it in the item box on our way. But we're also going to take care of that goddamn liquor. Like, I feel like stuff like this does look very good for, you know, what it is. And once again, this was a game made in 1998. Like, I can read that sign. The god of the sun, the god of the moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. Like, I can read that sign. Now granted, they knew what that said because you can read it in game. But, something is written on the mountain, the god of the sun, and the god of the moon, their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. But yeah, like, I think it's cool that, like, they up that enough to be legible. By the way, there's hanging that bullets back here. And everybody who's won, well, we'll get to that other, but this door is busted. You can never go through this door. The knob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. But we'll we'll figure out where that door goes soon. Very soon. But first, we're gonna make a little little pit stop into the item room. Or the box room. The dark room. I got distracted by looking at a thing. All right, we're gonna dump off the bow gun because we really don't need that much. We're gonna dump this off because we won't be needing that. We're gonna keep this here grenade launcher. We're gonna keep the unicorn metal and we're gonna keep the film and ammo. We're gonna, we're gonna teach that liquor a lesson for hurting poor Claire. Recruit. It's a picture of Rebecca. It's just a fun little Easter egg from one. Film D. So you'll get film in Resident Evil 1. There will be many places where you'll get rolls of film. I didn't examine it to look at what kind of film it is. Um, more likely it just says like color print film or something. But, because also the photo has a title, from whom? Oh no! Arms! Short one. Oh god, no! So those arms really can't hurt you. But it's a fun jump scare. Like, I definitely remember being a child and them frightening me. Like, I do like that little bit of like... But you can hear that liquor in here. So there we go. Liquor's dealt with. 
Which, by the way, like, if you're going to be playing a Resident Evil game, it is not the worst idea if you have a, if you're in a place like the RPD, where you're running back and forth all the time, kill everything. Unless you want to dodge them the whole game. It's locked. Spade is that's under the keyhole. Sorry, so we know what that door uses. So we have... We're looking for club and spade so far. We know two of the key suits are. So by the way, you can open this and with your lockpick. Of course, Claire comes equipped with a lockpick. But in here is a first aid spray. I don't really take or use first aid sprays. I don't find them necessary. They also lower your score in these games. The original Resident Evil, if you use a first aid spray, it lowers your score. I actually can't remember if they do in Remake as well, but put the Unicorn Medal in the Maiden statue, and you get a key. So, similarly, you also, the medal is in place. You also do have to deal with two of these things where you have a Unicorn Medal and a Maiden statue. Days has expanded the puzzle in the Remake, which fine. Spade key. It's in the shape of a spade. Spade key. But yeah, you can also change your, um, or rather examine the keys when you get them. And it'll tell you what key you have. But let's drop off, because I don't need it. We're gonna drop off the grenade launcher. We won't need that before we get to the next save room, I think. Fairly certain. But so why lug it around if we don't need it? And just... That's the thing about Resident Evil. It is a lot of back and forth and, you know... Like, I made the joke about it, but essentially a lot of this is a Zelda dungeon. You know? Like... It's a lot of backtracking. I actually, there's been a big discourse lately on Twitter mostly, which I do use the Twitter and it's awful. Um, about how people think that, or people saying, oh, well, Resident Evil 3 is an incomplete game. No, it's a complete game. It has a beginning, a middle, and end, full mechanics, like every things happen in it. But oh Help me. Do I have to? Ooh, just start TikTok's TikTok's a good fun fun shocker. Time shock. But Twitter is I used to really like Twitter because you could, to a point, curate everything that you, you know, everyone, or everything you needed on Twitter. Leon! Leon! Um, Claire, you made it. Yeah. But lately it's been worse. Have you seen a like, little girl around here? A lot of people have kind of leaned yeah, into the idea that, like, you give a bad Who take. Which, by the way, welcome in. I didn't say that. How are you tonight? Too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Um, Leon? A lot of people kind of have, you like, bad takes, and they're here. really loud about their bad of course, takes but on before Twitter, I forget, which I'm sure I'm guilty of that occasionally, but that way we can keep in touch if something comes up. I find that with Twitter particularly, a lot of people get into these echo chambers. You go and find us a way out of here. And honestly, if it's about video games fine that echo chamber is a-okay that you could have far worse things to be mad about but yeah there's some ammo in that room closet by the way and this is that door i was looking at a minute ago it's nailed shut it doesn't look like i can pass through here i wonder how sherry got out of here used to uh, i'm not a huge social media person so i use twitter for youtube to upload notification tiktok for clips on my streams Personally, I try to stay away from social media because none of it is entertaining. That's the thing. I think that social media can be 
And I'll put the big old caveat of can be. A lot of people, though, tend to just take whatever's out there and, you know, whatever comes to them. You can very much curate whatever you want in social media. But here's the library. Um, particularly, like, I don't want to see certain things in my, in my feeds, but I can get rid of those. I can get rid of a lot of those tapes. You know what I don't care about? I don't care about celebrity gossip. I don't have celebrity gossip in my Twitter. Because every time something like it comes up, like, I get rid of it. Because I don't want to deal with it. And I feel like a lot of people don't use the ability to curate their social media experience enough. You know. And the algorithm doesn't necessarily want you to. Like in all reality. But anyway, I'm getting far away from my point. Which, by the way, uh, send me a link to your TikTok. I'll throw you a follow. Um, but... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Nope. We're gonna... Uh, there's a comedy of errors. Um, but I keep seeing people have this idea that, like... Resident Evil 3 is a incomplete game. And it's not. It has, like, a full-on beginning, middle, and end. There's a comprehensive story told throughout it. Did they cut content? Sure. They, they definitely did. But I don't think the content they cut is all that important. They cut the clock tower real bad. Or rather, the big content that they cut. There's other stuff they cut that I do think should have been in the game. Because I'd be lying if I said I didn't think that. But, we'll get back to that in a second. Secretary's Diary A. April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I mean, the guy nearly hit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th. I mean, you're not wrong. Jurassic Park 3 is fine. Like, it's not horrible, but it's not, like, it was good to watch once. It was fun. April 7th. I heard all this, I heard all the art pieces from the Chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the Chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hand. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a, ner a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the sheep's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. So, refresh my memory. Is Jurassic Park 3 the one with Goldblum in it again? Or is it the one with, um... With, um... I can't think of the dude's name. The dude who played the, uh, archaeologist in the first one. It's an old typewriter. You can save your process with this. Which, by the way, this game is brutal in terms of saving. Um, but yeah, if it's the one with Goldblum, like, that movie isn't awful. And Steve Vaughn. Steve Vaughn ends up in weird shit. It's not a bad movie. It's fine. Like, I don't think I need to watch it any more than once or twice. But, like, it's fine. But yeah, people on Twitter, though, have this thing where it's like in all but they'll praise in the same sentence ooh how was it 
Because the Jurassic World series, I feel like, has been kind of hit or miss for me. Like, the first one was alright. That second one was not that good. I also think Jurassic Park's a weird, weird thing to kind of keep making sequels of. Like, I loved the first one. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the hell out of it. But, like, it's a weird movie to keep wanting to, like, make sequels of. Actually, I remember when I was a kid, Jurassic Park came out. I was like, what was that? I had to be about six years old, seven years old, maybe. Yeah, so I care if the story is reasonable. Like, if it's, if they can make a story that, like, it works, it, you know, it tracks all the way through all that, I'm happy. I'm not expecting high art. So, yeah, don't shoot the crows, just run. Um, yeah, but I remember I was a kid when the first Jurassic Park came out. And my grandparents took me to go see it. And I probably was in the neighborhood like six, seven, maybe as young as five. And I vividly remember going to see this movie. But. Like. Get off the light bulb, Claire. Like, it was so good in my memory. Like, every bit of it was so good. The effects, like, those dinosaurs look goddamn real. And, like, it, that movie always stuck with me. So, speaking of things that stuck with me since I was a child, I'm going to derail a little bit here. Because this is one of those things that made me scared every time I played a Resident Evil game from here on out. It's like, oh look, we have a door. I wonder where this goes. What? For the first time in a Resident Evil game. Like, the zombies came through a loading screen and Like, that shit was terrifying as a kid. Because all of a sudden, it was like, oh, nowhere safe. But, Jurassic Park, I remember wa watching that movie as a kid and loving it. Like, it, I was in a theater. We were, I remember we were sitting too close to the screen for my liking. Like, it was, it was just kind of one of those things. Oh, lady, you need to get away from the steps. By the way, don't kill any of those zombies. There's no reason to. Um, but yeah, like, it it amazed me, the, the special effects in those. But, after that first one, I don't really think the story of any of the other ones is anything to write home about. Like, they're not high art. They're popcorn action movies, which is fine. Like, there's a societal need for that stuff. And I think those are fun. You know, I'm not I'm not looking to watch, like, you know, an Oscar-winning movie when I go to see Jurassic Park. But that being said, if it's completely mind-numbingly stupid... Yeah, they do, they do that great. Like, they do an amazing job of building up suspense in those movies. Like, and you also, like, tend to... Like, they do a great job of even, like, you root for the dinosaurs in certain scenes. You root... See, I I'm, I'm one of those people I didn't like the original Top Gun all that much. I can't imagine I like this one all that much. Which, if you enjoyed it, like, good, good for you. Like, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong for it. But for me, it's just not my, not my cup of tea. Like, I did hear, though, it wasn't bad. 
Like, I did hear a review of it that said that Top Gun wasn't a bad movie. I don't know, I've been really bad about watching things lately. Hey, to each their own, like... I... I really like, like, weird David Lynch movies. I don't have any room to tell anybody else they're wrong about the movies they like. Like... I, uh... I have been. I've been real bad about watching movies, so unfortunately I haven't... I did binge all of Stranger Things the other day. Like, the day it came out, I watched all of it. So I guess that's been all of my energy for, uh... For watching things lately. I gotta... I gotta get back into things, because I'm, like, behind on so many other things that I normally would watch. But we can drop off this red gem here into the bosom of that statue. We can find another key. And I think some goodies. Well, an ink ribbon, so close enough. Nothing else inside. I haven't started boys yet. It's uh, week to week, right? Because I usually let... I usually let, um... Let week to week shows be out for like a couple weeks so I can watch like three episodes at once and then wait on it. But I'm excited for the boys. I'm I like uh what's his face from Supernatural, Jensen Eccles. I like him and I kind of really want to see him playing uh their Captain America equivalent. I think that'll be fun. But we're going to Oh, I didn't know they released the first three episodes. I might have to, uh... I might have to throw that on soon. I used to watch a lot of stuff at work, but since I got my Steam Deck, I haven't been. And I also want to watch, um... Miss Marvel came out, too, didn't it? Like, I want to catch that. Because I, I like Camilla Khan. I, I like that there's a nerdy, like, comic book fan superhero. Do I need anything else out of here? Yes. I need that. But yeah, like, I... I do have the boys, and, um... So... There... I'm... There's a lot of qualifiers to, like... To the games you can play on it. Because, like... I've been playing, uh, I just finished Resident Evil Village. I got the last achievement. I'd been waiting to get in that. Um, I've been playing, uh, I did a run of Resident Evil 2 on it and all that. Just to kind of put it through its paces. Patrol Report. Like, it's kind of difficult to say, though. Like, one second. Patrol Report, September 20th, 9.30 p.m. Reporter, Sergeant Neil Carlson. We've received a report of suspicious individual sulking, skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 9x19 parabellum rounds, and an infrared scope. Broken. End of report. So the Steam Deck has a lot of really cool functionality on it. Like, in terms of, like, it is a full-on desktop. Like, to give you an idea, I'm currently using it to monitor my stream to make sure, like, everything looks all right. Like, I have it just underneath my monitor, like, right in front of me to monitor everything. <laughs> now, in terms of games, it, it'll it play a lot. There's a lot of things it'll just kind of, like, tear through and work just fine. There are certain things that it frustratingly does not play. Like, I spent a long time last night downloading Red Dead Redemption 2 on it. And I got about an hour into it. And it completely shit to bed and, and uh, crashed on me. Now, Red Dead Redemption 2 has been a problem with the Steam Deck. So, it's not that surprising. 
But for the most part, most things I've thrown at it, it's been doing pretty good with. Like, granted, I don't play a lot of, like, intensive AAA games, but... Like, I haven't had too many issues with it not running something. But the real, like, performance and, like, worthwhile thing about it is its emulation. The emulation on it is wonderful. I've almost hunt I've almost finished getting every ending in Silent Hill. Like the original PlayStation Silent Hill on it. I have several other Silent Hills downloaded to play after I'm done with that. Like, I have a bunch of like Pokemon games emulated on it. As an emulation machine, it might be my favorite thing. Like it might be my favorite emu it it blows the pants off of my Raspberry Pi in terms of emulation and just barely beats my computer for emulation because everything is so, like, well... Like, everything is very, like, well-packaged because I'm using some, like, another... Like, a group of people made a, uh... Like, a shell for the emulators that compiles them all together with emu... Or, uh emulation station and presents them as Steam things, so, like, I can click on them in the Steam OS, and they fire up and play, like, a normal game. It's so cool being able to fire up the emulation like that. And honestly, that's kind of my favorite thing about it, is, like, the emulation rocks. Also, I don't exactly have small hands. So, like, when I play my Switch with the, uh, Joy-Cons, I feel like I'm gonna snap the Switch in half. The Steam Deck feels good in my hand. Like, I having bigger hands, the Steam Deck really feels great in my hand. In terms of, like, contour and comfort. It's so good. Operation Report. Operation Report, September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more killed. During the attack... Our communications equipment was destroyed, and we no longer have contact with the outside, except for that one fax machine in the starter's room. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of resurrecting... Resurrecting Christ. Uh, kinda? That was a weird explanation to put on the end of that, but... Rescuing any possible survivors as well to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Secu Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concerns regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unsolved mur incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, we made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock the weapon stores. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. My throat got very dry there. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon stores. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the key card to use to access the weapon stores is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle, and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore power in the power room and secure these locks. Recorder David Ford. All oh, right, this, this memo goes on fucking forever. Operation Report, September 27th, 1 p.m. The West Barricade has been broken through, and another exchange ensued. The sh We sheltered the... Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Like, I am very close. Um, we hopefully will be getting there soon. But, like, I'm in no rush. I'll get there when I get there. Every, every day I get better. Or every stream, hopefully, I get slightly better at this. But I appreciate the kind words of, uh... Oh, you've always been great about that. But I appreciate the hell out of it. Where was I? We sheltered the innocent in the co confiscation room on the first floor temporary. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Additional report. Three 
Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as-of-yet-unknown creature. This creature identified by missing passages of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most discussed, distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers as well as their location remain unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. But yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Just Red. Which, by the way, speaking of, how has your streaming been going? I feel like I forgot to ask because I was like, I just kind of kept rolling with whatever I was saying before when you came in. Like, I see you've been hopping in a lot lately, which, love to see it. Even though I, like, haven't been able to pop in because work has been, uh, you know. But we can drop off some stuff. We're going to save. And I think that's actually where we're going to call it because we're at a little over an hour. We actually got further than we did on take one. Take one can suck it. And we got a bunch of goodies to figure out where they go later. That sounds like a future Ralph's problem. <laughs> I hated every bit of that laugh and I'm sorry about that. But. I got confused because the screen below my screen was at a different place. But I want to thank everyone for coming in. And while I'm thinking about it, let me send a shout out for Just Dread. Because they are always great. And I love to see them in here. Which. Woo. Paranormal P.I. I swear to God. Bro. Stop. How many times? Is there any? No, there's also here. It's. Don't know why that's so quiet. Probably because the last shout out I did, I think, was Zagbo, and they were screaming in it. But if you can hear me, go and check out Just Dread. They are awesome. But that about does it for us tonight. We are going to be back. Sunday, 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 with more. I'm not sure what we're playing yet. Probably something not horror related, because I've kind of been doing a lot of horror lately, so I want to play something else. But thank you all for being here. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, Zez Dread. Always appreciate it. And like I said, anybody who wants something fun to watch, go hang out on their channel. They are wonderful. But... I am done for tonight. Y'all have a good night. I'll sh have a good weekend as well. I'll see you Sunday. Oh, I've been traveling down the road with no place to go. No place to go. Pockets filled with holes. Money's running low, truck is moving slow, and I keep going old, cause I've been traveling down the road, nowhere to go, nowhere to go, yes I've been traveling down this long, long road, with no place to go, mm -hmm. don't see no one in sight. Sundown turns to night. Tomorrow's another day. Wandering away.